Come on in, welcome to my home. Today, we're going to talk about something I hadn't really planned on talking about today. My original goal was to talk about getting a new computer, what you'd need to think about when you were getting one, all those fun things. And as I started doing research for that video, I found out something. Right now, getting a new computer can be quite expensive. If you build it, if you buy it already pre-built, the components are very expensive because, well, chips are hard to come by. So that went out the window. I'm like, okay. So no, we're not going to really look into that. Instead, what I'm going to talk to you about is desk. This one is interesting because originally I was going to have to think about do I want a laptop versus desktop computer. And on Wednesday, as I was talking to a friend of mine, realistically, do I want a d laptop? I don't use a laptop that much. I actually thought about this and I have two older laptop computers which I've had now for quite a while and I never use them like never like never ever when I got the laptop computers I was at a whole different job and I would use them quite often because I was in various spots on all those sort of things but now that I work from home I use them right where I am and I've also found out that I rarely ever leave my house so there is that. But let's talk about desk. All right. Some of you are thinking, oh, I love desk. I love, you know, if you're going to get a new desk, you need to get a new sit-stand desk. If you don't know what a sit-stand desk is, it's a desk that has adjustable height so that you can either be sitting or standing, depending upon whichever you need. And a lot of people will tell you that the best thing about them is the fact that they provide lots of health benefits from, for because sitting down is really bad for you. Well, let's look into that. If you're wondering where I'm getting this information, from the people on Patreon will get my show notes and they will give you the links to the things which I'm talking about but I'm going to tell you right now that there is no conclusive proof that shows that sit stand desks do really anything but let's go backwards a little bit all right so when you look at a sit stand desk the whole big thing comes to it is the price some of these desks can be quite expensive some of them can be quite reasonable but the one thing that they most have in common is the fact that you need a place that you can put your laptop usually and then you can just raise it up and down because this way it gives you the ability to when you get tired or when you feel fatigued or when you need to stand up move around you can then just raise it up and be in that position but the problem with that is the fact that most of the scientific studies that people talk about say that moving is important, which is true, 100%. Moving is very important. A standing desk does not give you movement. You might fidget, but they actually mean movement, like, you know, walking or something like that. What this does is this gives you the illusion of movement, and you're not. You're, you're just standing. Even if you get one of those balance boards which you can stand upon, it still isn't actual movement and that's what's important. It doesn't matter if you are standing all day because studies have shown that people who stand all day, their health isn't any better than people who sit all day. In fact, they have different sort of problems. What the studies do show you is the fact that you need to actually move. Like, move. A lot of people are saying you should move every 10 minutes for every 20 minutes that you work. Some people are saying that you should move every t for 10 minutes every hour that you work. You're going to have to find out that for you. Now before you start typing angrily in the comments, I'm here to tell you that you have to also go with what works for you. Some people will find that the standing desk is one of the greatest things that they have ever seen. They work better in that way, it helps with the productivity, and that's wonderful, that's really cool. If the stand desk works for you, that's the desk that works for you. A lot of people will find that the stand desk doesn't is not great for them because their brain doesn't work that way. It's one of those things where you have to figure out what works for you and actually go with what works for you. So what works for you. Are you a person who likes to stand up? What I found, and I paid attention to this, sitting down, I still get up like every 
after about half an hour, I get up for 10 minutes and move around because I am at home. I'm not in a work situation. So then once I got the idea of do I need a standing desk out of my brain because I am going to keep with a desktop, then I had to think about what kind of desk do I actually need. Well, that opened up a huge can of worms because there are so many different desks. Desk with drawers, desk, desk with shelves, desk with all sorts of things. And that's where it becomes a little bit more complicated because it needed to be an affordable desk because that is one of the things you're going to have to think about. If you're going to buy a desk, it needs to be a desk that you can easily afford without going into debt. You know, there's nothing worse than you're spending, you know, three, four days of work just so you can afford the desk that you want to get. And does that desk need all of the different things that you are going to have in it? The desk which I ended up choosing is actually quite affordable desk. It was easy to put together and it came super quick. I ordered it on Friday. It came in on Sunday. I mean, that's quick. So it has the things that I really wanted, I thought. Or I think. We, I don't know. It's only been like a day or so since I've had it. And it also had a few things that I wish that it did have. So when you're looking for a desk, you have to think about what height the desk is. If you are taller, you're probably going to want a taller desk. If you are shorter, you're going to want a desk that's shorter. Or you're going to have to think about something which then puts your feet so that your thighs are parallel to the ground. You can sit up with your back straight and your arms can rest comfortably so that you can type without putting pressure on yourself. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward from there. But what desk is right for you? Do you want a desk that has lots of drawers and places to put things. Do you? Here's the thing. I've found after keeping extensive eye on my the stuff that I have in my house, I don't have a lot of papers that come in and out of my office. Not at all. In fact, I have maybe three or four a month that come in and out. So I don't need a desk that has a lot of, you know, paper space. So I did not need drawers. I do have a few pencils which I am going to then do a few things with and we're going to talk about that in another video because right now my cable management on my desk is an absolute nightmare because what was more important is that I got the desk together yesterday than it was to cable management. I will do a video on how I did the cable management or I should do a video on it. It depends because it's going to be really hard to film because <laughs> It's in a really tight space. But I know that I don't need a lot of drawers. I know that I don't need a lot of space on my desk because right next to my desk, I have a table which I use for everything from folding laundry to doing the stuff that I would normally do at a desk. I just needed a sturdy desk that I could then have my computer, have my hard drives, and well, that's it. Now, the one thing that you will see is I do have two monitors on my desk that I'm not in love with right now, but I will be replacing those with two monitors that will be on arms so that that way I can then adjust them and everything so that uh, the two monitors can then look really nice and pretty. But the whole big thing is don't think about the fact that you have to go out and spend a whole lot of money on a desk all at once to get everything perfect. What you might have to do is you might have to get a desk that is adequate for your needs at that moment or going to be able to get you what you want and keep it that way for a little while. I know for a fact that this desk is going to be the kind of desk that I will stick with for quite a while because like I said, I know the way that I work. I don't work with a lot of paper. I don't work with a lot of pencils. So it will work for me but what will work for you? You might find that you are a big notebook person, so cool, you're gonna need drawers, you're gonna need files, that sort of thing. Uh, you also might be one of these people, which I found, I didn't know was really a thing until I was talking to a friend of mine, who wants to be able to have like books spread out next to their desk or look be able to look at as they type and that sort of thing. Well, neat. What about sound? Have you thought about where you're going to have your sound system? Because a lot of people like to listen to music and they want that right there at their desk. Also, your phone. Do you need to have a built-in built phone station on your desk so that that way you can listen to, you can charge up your phone as you are working on your desk or is that something you just absolutely do not 
not need. You might not. You might be one of these people who don't need that. I found that my desk does have uh, four plug-ins on the top of the desk and then two USB uh, ports so that that way I can charge up my phone and that's really cool. It is a very handy thing for me to have. Um, you might be one of these people who wants to have other peripherals on your desk. I do have a microphone that I use from time to time that needs to have a spot when it's up on the desk. I don't need a permanent spot for the microphone. I have thought about getting a um, podcast microphone so that, that way when I do my voiceovers I can then add that to it. But it's one of those things where you're going to have to think about what do I do with my desk now? What do I think I'm going to do with my desk in the future? What peripherals do you think that you're going to need? Now the one thing you will notice that I don't have a printer. I almost never use a printer, like almost never. Do Is there a printer in my ha house? Yes, mom has a printer. So when I need a printer, I will go over to her condo, steal her printer, print out what I need to, and go. When I think about sturdy, is the desk actually sturdy? Now my top on my desk, I do believe is a wood veneer. I'm pretty certain, I'll, I'll double check that. And putting it together was not hard, except I did cut my finger on one of the screws. That was my own fault, shouldn't have been trying to put it in that way. But it went together quick, the instructions were very nice, and did I look at the reviews? Yes, I did. I did look at the reviews for the desk. The first thing you have to think about is how do you actually use your desk? And I mean honestly use your desk. The more surface space that you have on your desk, the more likely you are to just clutter your desk up with stuff. Find a place to put your stuff. It may not be in your desk whatsoever. You may not have it like anywhere close to it because it's stuff that you will not have. The other thing you need to think about is where's the trash can in relationship to your desk? My trash can is right underneath the table that's beside my desk simply because that way as I'm going through stuff I can get rid of it as I don't need it which is super handy. Now, so those of you who are saying, but you're going to wish that you had a laptop because that way you can go places. I do have an iPad, an old one that I've had forever. Do I use it? Very rarely, but I do use it occasionally. I do a lot of stuff on my phone. I have most of my uh, apps that I use on my desk also tied in with my phone because I'm a big Google person. I do use uh, the Google suite of information, which is really, really nice. And I mean super nice to have around so that that way if I'm not at my desk, I can use my phone to put everything in. And it has to look good. You also have to think about, can you clean underneath your desk? I can, I can run my little vacuum. It goes underneath the desk which makes my life so much better. It is so easy to keep clean, it is so nice. I, I just really need to do the cable management. Now what I did add was a wire basket so that I could put in my uh, power strip which will help with my cable management. I could, like I said, if you wanna see me try to do a cable management video, I can do that for you. Let me know down in the comments. But what things do you need on your desk? Now, some people are asking, well, you need a desk light on your desk. So, and I do have a light which is up above, since the original spot for the desk was a closet, I do have a light which shines down there. How often do I write from things or get things out of books? Very, very rarely. So I don't really use the whole need a desk lamp. Now the reason that I don't need a light coming from behind the, the computer monitors, which a lot of people do suggest, is my walls are have a white piece of material behind them because I haven't sanded them down and fixed up that that's coming in later in videos. That way it reflects the light from the closet light and gives me enough light to illuminate the room without blinding me with a light right in my eyes. Because even right now as I'm doing this video, I have two lights to my side which are very, very bright and you have to think about that. Are these lights in your eyes? Are, is the computer at a light, is the computer screen at a correct level? So that you're not looking up, you should be able to look straight ahead as you are doing anything. It makes, it does be, uh, better for your back, it does better for your body, it's just easier. If not, you might consider getting a different chair, you might consider raising or lowering your monitors. That's why I want to get the monitors with the arms so that, that way I can adjust 
the uh, monitors to just the right exact spot. You might even want a keypad, a keyboard shelf that you can put on your desk so that, that way you can slide your keyboard in and out. You have to think about those sort of things. What works best for you? Decide then. Maybe you don't like any of that. Maybe you want a completely detachable keyboard, a wireless keyboard, go for it. But before you buy a desk, pay attention to what you do. Not just what you hope or wish or pray that you might do, what actually works for you. This worked for me. Spot for the computer, great. I have enough room to move my legs underneath the, underneath the desk. Great, it has a way to keep my, all of my um, hard drives out of the way. Wonderful, keeps my wires up off the ground. Once again, really good. I can clean under it, it's, it matches really nicely with my area. It just works well for me. I just really like this desk because it works the way that I work. And it is limited uh, shelf space, so that that way I'm not cluttering it up with a whole bunch of stuff. All right, I want to hear from you now. And you can talk amongst yourselves down in here, because this is a great time to talk about what you look for in a desk, and what you really want from a desk and what you don't want from a desk. I want to stress, um, the desk that I've shown you in this, they're all linked down below in the description. Also, the desk that I chose, it is linked down below in the description. And I want to thank my uh, patrons on Patreon because without them, there is no way I could have gotten this desk. This desk is really from them. They are really great for this. If you want to be part of my neighbors over there, you can consider joining Patreon over there. Everybody gets to see the videos early, so we get an early video. And also, there is a weekly vlog where I tell you what I'm doing for the day, and it usually talks somewhat about what things are going on. What was interesting about this video is the fact that since I ordered this desk on Friday, got it on Sunday, there's not a lot of talk about it, but there is some. But And we also decide on what videos come up next. There will be more on my office layout because moving the desk changed a whole lot of things in the office, and you will see that coming up. But I'd love to hear from you, what things you'd like to see, what things you'd like to know, and I hope we get to see you the next time you stop by.